This is by far some of the most realistic graphics I've ever seen in any video game ever in my entire life. And the only issue here, because I want to play this game, the only issue is that it's only for next-gen consoles and not for PC. So we got to go get a PS5 somehow. You got my money, bitch. We are back and we've switched things up. I'm playing PS5. I got a PS5 from a, a scalper, as you guys saw. Right off the bat, I downloaded some games just because I've never... This is my first PlayStation I've ever owned in my entire life. I've always been an Xbox guy, but I really wanted the uh, the DualSense controllers. We got the Matrix... The, the Matrix Awakens in Unreal Engine 5 experience. It is supposedly the best graphics in a video game ever. It's not really a video game, it's more of a tech demo. We're still gonna check it out. Look at those graphics. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, how do, can I skip all this? I just wanna play. So again, I, I didn't really fact check myself before making this video, but to my knowledge, this is supposedly the first consumer grade product or game or whatever that uses Unreal Engine 5, the new Unreal Engine 5 technology. You guys may know that Session is made in Unreal, Skater XL is made in Unity. This is Unreal Engine 5, which is the newest, supposedly what all these next gen games are gonna start looking like, hopefully, knock on wood. I guess, let's just, let's start the chase. Let's put this bad boy to the test. Oh wait, shit, can I pause it? I wanna pause it, I have something to say. The trippy thing about this like many of you is with, people were telling like me that you can't, like in this little intro cutscene, you can't tell who's fake and who's real the because of how good the graphics are. are. So there's Keanu Reeves. The we, we don't know if that's real Keanu Reeves or if that's Unreal Engine 5 Keanu Reeves. They also confront us with questions. I have questions. About why we want to choose this over that. I don't know. Why we want to make X instead of Y. Don't know. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? Also don't know. You take the red pill. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I don't want the red pill. Ah! This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? See, this is where things For get instance, trippy. I'm not even sure why I'm here. I think that's the real Keanu. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. But I don't actually know. That it was important for me to ask people. How do we know that's what fake. is real? I think. Hi. That's I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 Dude. years ago, I first played the character of Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered. I can't that's so I can't tell which Keanu is the the, the Unreal right, Engine 5 Keanu, which is the real Keanu. Bro, gaming's about to get scary. Gaming is legitimately gonna get scary really soon. This is the beginning of some Black Mirror episode or something. Dude, we're we're about to say goodbye to any CGI jobs. This looks like a movie. I can't even tell fake from real now. This is actually insane. This is still a cutscene. I'm not. I'm not playing yet, but you'll see. I think. Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. Right on. Keanu's so sick. I love Keanu Reeves. That that cutscene of the city skyline was unbelievably realistic looking. I think I'm gonna start shooting soon. Say no more. Oh, you can't be doing that. He disintegrated. Oh. Is this where I come in? Okay, this is where I come in. Shoot that tire out. Holy shit. I gotta take out all the cop cars. Okay, you're behind the car. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your headlight. Oh. Ah. Evaporate. Sky. This is intense! It feels like I'm watching a movie, but I'm playing a movie. Holy shit, who's up next? Sir, you can't park there, excuse me. Oh no, not you again. Not you again. Uh, Trinity? They're on the car! Lose the roof! My pleasure! That's the pluses of having a convertible, I heard. Oh, you can't just be blowing up and just people like that. You're done. We're almost done. Oh, you gotta get out of here. I'm sorry, sir. Please move. They have pretty bad aim. They haven't shot me yet. 
Fun, dude. I don't think I can aim or anything. I'm literally just holding the trigger. And you're done. You're about to be done. You're done. Oh, no way. Whoa. I did that. Oh. That's gonna cost a little bit of money to repair it. Well, that's a hell of an intro to a game. I got to give it to him. Mass AI visualization. So this is like the, the behind the scenes showcasing kind of what Unreal Engine 5 is capable of. Keep in mind, I'm not like a, a tech guy, so this doesn't mean too much to me, but it's still unfathomable how crazy this is and how crazy this technology is. Daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime looks real nanite virtualized geometry if i knew what i was talking about that can make that <laughs> i don't know i don't know what that means but that looks real and it's just consisting of that this is going to be painful to watch for anyone that actually knows what they're talking about i'm just here to look at cool graphics so you can see in the background the pixeliness if i display rendered pixels it looks all silky smooth and beautiful no way this is the game Holy shit. Can I control? Oh my God. We're in the future. We're living in the future. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves here, I made a promise to you guys in the last video that posts on this channel that they're, we're bringing the top comments back. The top comment on the last video is by Dog Pimp. He says, play Gary Jenner, my worst slam ever. How can you forget about that video? For those of you that don't know, I'm bringing it back. Where'd it go? It's a black screen now. Whatever the uh, the top comment is on my videos, whatever comment has the most thumbs up gets to dictate what goes on the screen behind us. A couple things I want to talk about. And again, this is just to my knowledge, which isn't, it isn't much to be honest. This isn't a, a game. Like that little trailer that we watched at the beginning where we could shoot the bad guys and whatnot. That was like the... The teaser of it that was the the extent of the gameplay is really just a tech demo showcasing what unreal engine 5 is capable of you can see the reflections of the building through the paint on the car this is like my wet dream i i am a i am a sucker for good video game graphics you guys know every, every single chance i get to throw whoops i didn't mean to push that button i'm not used to playstation controls yet every chance i get to throw uh realistic into a title i will and this is the definition this is literally i would be tempted to say the most realistic graphics of any video game ever i've been watching i've seen this this game pop up so many times on like my tiktok for you page youtube videos whatever a lot of people can we run over people no, they turn into nothing. A lot of people were saying like, oh, like if you crash, it's not realistic. First of all, that looked pretty damn good, but it's not a physics showcase. It's showcasing the graphics. I think a lot of people bought this expecting it to be a full game and it's not, it's a, it's a demo, it's exactly that. We get to go hundred miles an hour and get into a head on collision. Okay. Little anticlimactic. I mean, it looks good. It's not like, it's not BeamNG good. And I know this isn't about the physics, but it's still pretty damn good. What's up, cuz? Get my way! Get my way! Damn it. Sorry, buddy. Oh, did I break the car? Sorry, officer. I'll clean this up, I promise. I hope you guys find this as fascinating as me. Like, just walking around aimlessly admiring graphics. R1 is sprint. So we can run. And we can walk. <laughs> that, that's sort of all we can do. I know we can actually go in here and mess with things. But here's kind of where I... This is the extent of my knowledge. Walking, drone, photo mode, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I make it like, oh, here's some stuff. Even on the PS5, we get some frame drops. I'm turning the crowd and traffic down a little bit. Matrix filter? Oh, that's just like the, 
Ooh, it kind of looks sick without it, actually. Yeah, without the matrix filter, that looks crazy photorealistic. Is this a Porsche? Top in this bad boy. How do I get in? There we go. O is handbrake. Oh, can I be hitting some drifts? No, I'm not very good at drifting. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Dude, this thing sucks at drifting. Come on. Whoops. If I hold the gas. It just doesn't... Oh, shit. It doesn't want to get sideways. Maybe it's front-wheel drive. Or maybe it's just not that realistic. What people are really hoping for is that GTA 6 and other, you know, A-list tri AAA? What's the word I'm looking for? All of the next generation games will be made with Unreal Engine 5. And I don't think that's been confirmed or denied anywhere. That's kind of just like the pipe dream for us gamers right now. I'm the type of person you can give me a $20 tech demo that looks like this and I'm satisfied for months. Let's just see how far we can drive until we crash. No regard for traffic lights, stoplights, any of that stuff. I'm surprised we're not dropping frames yet. Oh, can we thread the needle? Go, oh, we kind of dropping frames. No, don't change lanes. Oh, that was that was all you. Oh God, we're fine. I think we we lost our driver's side mirror there. Can I go like? How do I fly again? Cause I want to see if I can get up onto the freeway. Dude, look at this. This looks like I'm flying a drone over a freeway in LA. You can't tell that that looks like a video game. That is absolutely crazy to me. Oh yes, we most certainly can get on the freeway. Hold on. What about faces? How do, how do faces look here? Whoops. I see you. I see you seeing me. Yeah, look at me. Come on. Oh, he smiled. Oh, how cute. So the NPCs still do look a little dead, like a little soulless. Obviously way better than, than GTA or any other game. I'm just really like hyper analyzing everything right now. Let's whip the minivan onto the, uh, oops, sorry, onto the freeway here. Dude, I wish this was GTA 6. Oh my God, if GTA 6 looks like this, I'm never leaving my house ever again, ever. I definitely do wish the crash physics were a little bit better. Like if they could somehow implement beam and G physics. God, this thing's hard to drive. Holy shit, I'm losing control. No! Oh, I'm so sorry. How's was the front of our car look after that? Uh, little, oops. A little crunched up, but not too bad. This really is the future of gaming. It's it's pretty damn mind blowing. <laughs> I think I broke the car. The hazard's turned on. Sorry, my bad. I'll be back for that. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper into this. I've never gone through these menus or like even know if I can do anything. That's just a map. I am the green dot. I don't know what the other things are. That is just the look sensitivity. Got it. Sun rotation. So can I make it nighttime? Is the sun setting? Oh, whoa. It's bright now. It's like I'm cycling through the sun's rotation, but it never gets to nighttime. It's just going through like different times of the day. Photo mode is pretty crazy. Just look at our car accident we caused here. We can adjust the aperture. I want like a shallow field of view. Oh, that fish eye shot. Damn. Oh, this is so sick. Oh my God. Okay, what's next? Oh, I didn't mean to click that. That was a buzzkill. I was in the zone. I wish I knew how to make it nighttime. Or may maybe you can't, but I, I could have I swore that you were able to. Oh, there we go. These are the high quality graphics that I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. When I say the most realistic graphics in the world, this is what I'm talking about. This is probably fascinating if I knew, you know, what I was looking at. I'm really bothered that I can't make it nighttime. And I, I know that after I make this video, I'm gonna figure it out, but I guess it's fine. In the meantime, we can just admire the city. I can confidently say that driving it's one of my favorite pastime activities. Oh, really? I had to start it off like that? Okay, so you can't kill people. That's always good. I mean, I actually, I would love to. Excuse me, coming through. Don't mind me. Holy shit, that's bright. Oh, that lens flare. I am nerding out. Oh! We almost lost it there. Dude, oh. Driving's hard. This is why those little sun filters were created. So you don't drive like me. I can't see anything right now until it's too late, almost. I want to flip the car to see like, oh, this poor guy. I wonder if it's, if any of like the taller cars flip easier. It's like center of gravity and physics and all that stuff. I can't steal that. I'm in a parking lot and I can't steal any of these cars. Come on. 
Gotta go back out to the street. Let's see how high we can go. I want to get a, a grand overview of the city in all of its glory. This literally looks like the opening scene of a movie shot in a helicopter, but it's just me moving my controller around. <gasps> is it this big? I get that a lot. This is breathtaking. I can't tell if the graphics are really good or if I'm used to Skater XL. <laughs> I, th I think they're actually really good. Let's see if we can adjust like the sun rotation up here. Whoa, the sky moves. Look in the city, you can see the other buildings casting shadows. God, I want it to be nighttime. I feel like the overlord right now, controlling every aspect of the city. This is so sick. Let's go to the top of one of these skyscrapers and see, uh, see how detailed they are, you know, really putting it to the test here. Okay, we're coming in. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. I'm like losing my mind right now. We can't go into the buildings, right? No. Imagine that. What about inside? <gasps> we have little rooms. Little, like, apartments. Little one-bedrooms. They're not even all the same. Look, this one has, like, a little, uh, a little shelf with some lights on it and a bed. Down here, we got a couch and a photo. Here, we have a different bed. Oh, maybe it's the same thing, just different layout. No, they're all different. And that's just one room of one building of this entire city. Dude, ready? I, I, I'm gonna film the intro to a movie right now. Da, 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 Okay, let me go like inside. Oh, I wanted to go like through the columns there. I hope you guys are finding this entertaining. I could sit here for hours. You can still see the cars on the freeway. Oh, I thought these were like picnic tables up here. Ooh, puddles. Everyone likes puddles. When it comes to video game graphics, puddles are cool. Look at those puddles. Wait, I wonder if I... Aww. I tried to spawn myself up on top so I could jump off. It caught me. Honestly, I guess for for lack of better words, this, this has sort of just been me fanboying out over Unreal Engine 5. But realistically, this is the future of gaming. This is like the very, very tip of the iceberg for what's to come for the future of of gaming, which is pretty damn mind-blowing. And evaporate. Sick. Like, dude, imagine driving around with the full motion sim, or like if they could somehow get these graphics in VR, that would be insane. Where's the freeway? How did I get? Oh, I'm trying not to crash. God, it's crowded. Excuse me. Coming through. I want a good crash. Some of them are realistic, some aren't. That one wasn't that realistic. Can you like look into the stores? You can see that it's a store. That one has that weird, that weird glitch where it's kind of two different things, but still pretty crazy. And pardon me, coming through. Oh, no! Oh, that car got ruined. My car is like, my car is completely fine. It evaporated. Like imagine if the police could chase you or if you could shoot people or I guess you can tell I like playing GTA. God. So yeah, as you guys can tell, it, it's pretty hit or miss with the actual physics of the game, but I've said it three times already, I'll say it again. This isn't demonstrating physics. This is demonstrating Unreal Engine 5 and, and strictly that, you know? That, that's what this is showcasing. Did I pay 20 bucks to crash into cars and do literally nothing else? Yes. Completely. Do I regret my decision? Absolutely not. This is cool, man. And I, I am really excited to see the future of gaming, essentially. Oh, we're going 102. Oh! That wasn't that bad. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what else you want me to play on the PS5. Now that I have a PS5, it kind of opens up a whole new realm of, of videos and content for this channel. Let me know. I'll see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up. I didn't say that yet. Thumbs up the video. Peace out. <laughs>